there and welcome to another episode of The Bible. Wait, what? Yes, this is the podcast that unravels the mysteries of the Bible's most perplexing, puzzling and thought-provoking passages. My name is Rowan and each session I'm joined by a member of our team at C3 Church, Camden, Picton and Thoreau, as they quiz me on some of the more complicated, confusing, challenging and even confronting passages that we read in our weekly Bible reading plan. understand that reading the Bible can be a challenging and perplexing experience. Many people just don't know where to start, they get confused, and so they give up. Well, that's why this podcast exists, to equip you with the tools and the knowledge to explore the richness and depth of the Bible for yourself. So grab your Bible, take a deep breath, and join us as we explore this week's passages. To learn more about us or to get in touch with us at C3 Church Camden, Picton and Thoreau, visit any of our three locations' websites. That's c3camden.church, c3picton.church and c3thoreau.church. Or you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube just by searching for any of our locations' names. So without any further delay, let's dive into today's conversation. Hello, hello. Welcome to 2024. We've made it finally, we Jeannie. We've made it. We've been this... desperate to stand behind this microphone again. Yeah, is this our great <laughs> return or is this just, this is just an intro? This is the second coming. The second <laughs> This is the second coming, yes. My name's Jeannie and I'm sitting down here with the most excellent Pastor Rowan. Oh, thank you. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello. It's, it's, <laughs> we heard all the echoes out there, people saying hello. We're, we're back. We're definitely back. Yeah, we're back. And this is going to be a good year, isn't it? It we is. We've kind of, of skipped a whole couple of months and a whole book of Genesis, which is a bit disappointing that we didn't have time to do that. But one day we'll do Genesis again. One day, yeah. We'll go yeah. back to the beginning again. Well, we we talked about it a lot last year, actually. We did talk about it quite a bit last yeah, year. That's so true. This year we've got big plans, don't we? We do. Yes. yes. Yeah, we're doing things, mixing things up. Shortening things a bit. Shortening. This is a 50% off sale. This is. Yeah. <laughs> it's 50% off for us and it's 50% off for the listeners that give up because the podcast episodes are too long. Too. They're too long. Yes. So I now have my Usually when Jeannie's on, they're too long. That's, yes. That's, 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 that's I have point. a timer. I'm timing myself. It's yeah, going to we'll buzz my watch. My we'll watch see. is going to buzz me every <laughs> at 10 minutes and then I'll have five more minutes to speak. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes, Jeannie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. That is the plan. Yes. So tell me, how did you come up with this year's uh, Bible plan reading? Uh, a little bit differently to, to last plan. year. Bible yeah. reading plan. Bible plan reading. Yes. Yeah, so this year, um, last year, we were, one of the questions we constantly got by doing the 10 chapters a week is it was topical all the way through the year. So we were covering key themes, uh, topical themes, and then we would try to blend the mixture of let's find as much scripture in chunks that we could um, and blend that in with the particular topic. But we were constantly wrestling, but because, you know, not, we might do five chapters in a row to get a decent chunk of scripture, but not all five chapters was all about that topic. So there was always that tension um, last year. This year, um, we, uh, we were talking before Christmas and planning for this year. And as a church, uh, well, essentially, I really felt a call to help people get into large chunks of scripture. And so we decided we would tackle entire books of the Bible individually from one another. So that's what we're going to do this year at five chapters a week rather than 10, but entire books of the Bible. Uh, so as well as doing that, each week in our Sunday services on our sermons that you can listen to online and so on, we will be picking out a topic uh, from that previous five weeks uh, that will cover the five days, five, five days of, from yeah. the previous five chapters that have been done that week, we will pull out a topic which um, will come from within the, somewhere within those five chapters. And so you'll preach on that topic. Preach on that topic. So there's different topics each week. And we've written those topics with the intention of being able to cover the good cross section of all the kind of stuff that we need as Christians, whether that's um, stewardship, relationships, finances, evangelism, hope, or, you know, you pick your, your topic of choice, hopefully during the course of the year, we have got something to say in our sermons and that will help you in that area. So some solid teaching. That's what's going to happen this year. I believe that so. Right? Solid Lives teaching. Lives are going to be changed. Amen. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And we're seeing some really encouraging stuff as we record this to what, mid-February. 
Uh, we're working our way through the book of Genesis and um, we've been doing some character studies on the patriarchs and I'm getting lots of feedback from all our preachers and the people listening to all our preachers about how it's been encouraging to them and seeing themselves in the patriarchs. So hopefully we'll see more of that as we go through the year. So you are going to keep doing the the character studies. Is that what you're saying? Uh, not exclusively, but um, there'll be times. So like we're going to have a time where we do the book of Dan. Uh, so we do so we do the book of Second Samuel, which is all pretty much all of King David's life once he becomes king. And uh, King David is a, a great character study. So yes, there'll be some character studies there. Uh, there'll be other pockets of it, but not exclusively character studies. It's just that show, so happens that throughout our Genesis series, we have been looking at Abraham and Jacob and Joseph and so on. The yeah. old guys. The old fellas. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Would you believe I, I forgot to put my timer oh, on. Oh, see, she's already cheating. <laughs> I forgot to put it on already. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to list some of the books you're going to go, we're going to go sure. through this year. Um, Mark is coming up. Yes. That's yes. what you and I are going to be talking about most of Yes, we are. And then after that, just some easy reading for people. Yep. Uh, Revelation. Oh, we're going to do Jonah in, but we're going to have a week oh, in Jonah. do Jonah, Jonah in, between. in between. Yeah. Okay. And then Revelation. Yeah, now, just is some it, light stuff on Revelation. Yeah. <laughs> is it Revelation or Revelations? Uh, Revelation singular. Revelation. So yes. why do people say from the book of Revelation 5.10? They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> it is singular. It's revelation. Correct. So there's one revelation, yes. not multiple revelations Correct. given in the book. Yep. It starts. The book starts with this is the revelation of Jesus Christ given to John by whatever it is, says, whatever it says, but it's a revelation. Revelation. This is the revelation. Single, singular. Well, the word is apocalypse. It's one, a sing- apocalypse. one apocalypse. One apocalypse. Right. Yes. And we'll talk about that when we talk about Revelation. Okay. What does the apocalypse mean? Okay. So no more sp- saying Revelations. No, no. You get struck from the record. <laughs> struck from the record. Right. Mind you, I hear plenty of preachers and I'm listening to a podcast teaching on Revelation and the guy's still calling it Revelations, Revelations. and I'm going, dude, you need to just stick to what the scripture says. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that, but a massive thunderstorm. Yeah, we're just... in the middle of a thunderstorm, aren't we? Yeah. Ceiling is right rock, as you said, rocking. the revelations. Oh, revelation. <laughs> Boom. The apocalypse is coming. Okay. So after that, you're heading to Ecclesiastes. Yes. Another complex you, chapters, stories. Yep. And Corinthians, Galatians, Deuteronomy. This is going to be a big year. It is. John, James, Samuel, as you said before, Hebrews, Romans, Luke. So it's a lot, it's heavier on the New Testament this year is, than last year. Uh, uh, maybe so. Yeah. What are we doing? Hebrews. We're doing, th- well, yes, because we're doing three of the four gospels. This year, so we, we're, we're not doing um, Mark's, we're doing, sorry, not doing Matthew's gospel this year, but we're doing Mark, Luke, and John throughout the year. Um, no, sorry, we're not doing John's gospel this year, are we? We're doing, did you just say? No, we're doing John. We're doing John. Are we doing all four gospels? No, we're not. Uh, no, you're not. No, we're not doing <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> I didn't think we were, I didn't mind we were this doing three of the four. This is not starting off it well. It isn't, is it? It really Mark, isn't. Mark, Luke, and John. We're not going to no. do Matthew. We're going to do Mark, Luke, and John this year. So we're doing three gospels. Um, what are, yes, there is plenty of New Testament. I haven't worked out what the percentage is, but th- these are all, whether they're New Testament or Old Testament, a lot of these are some of the more confusing books of the Bible. These are books that often people will find, they put them in the too hard basket. So uh, Hebrews, Romans, they're pretty theologically dense passages. Now, I know we spent some time in Hebrews last year, a little bit talking about Christ. So we have touched on some of this, but they're theologically dense. Um, they're c- at times confronting, confusing. I would have liked to have thrown Job in the mix, but we didn't have enough weeks to do that. Um, I think you'd need a year for Job. Yes, but for the same reason as Ecclesiastes is like my best effort at that. Jonah is another one that's quite confronting. Um, so yeah, right across the board, I've picked, I've tried to pick, pick books of the Bible, the, my intention being not to scare people off. And at each location where I've mentioned that we're doing Revelation, I can see people's eyes glass over straight away. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah, because there's this almost a fear or in many cases like, um, oh, that's all too hard or that's scary or, you know, it's all dragons and so on. Um, but I actually want to come to these texts and hopefully demystify some of that so that people actually go from ignoring them to embracing them and enjoying reading them and what they have to teach us. To, to questioning, to, to just questioning. To thinking about it. Yep. And that's actually in April, so it's coming up pretty that's soon. That's coming up really soon. In fact, I'm, I'm recording the first couple of episodes of that tomorrow with Phil Weird, and Phil Weird and I are going to crack a couple of those weeks. Yeah. Can I just give you any, give not give you, <laughs> give our lovely listeners an example of Revelation here. So uh, on the 22nd of April, I believe, maybe 
think that's the date. Yep. We're going to be, the chapters are Revelation 12, 15. The title is Beasts in Revelation. Come on. <laughs> and the topic that you're going to be preaching on is the beast defeated God's victory over principalities and powers. I'm, I'm not available for that day. <laughs> <laughs> Not available to listen or no, to record. <laughs> neither. No, I would love to listen to uh, that. We might actually, get Jeff Baxter to I do think that Pastor one. Pastor Jeff, that's got his name on it. Oh, it? come on, Jeff Baxter, yeah. Beasts in Revelation. That's going to be a good one. Yep. So that was just an example of what the weekly sort of reading is going to be, yep. right? And so let me just give another one here randomly. In John 12 to 16, it's going to be staying close to Jesus. Abiding in the vine, the only way to flourish and be fruitful. Yeah. So that's not a character study. No, no, but you've put a lot of thought into these topics. Oh, yes. Yes. I sat down and went, what do we need to be covering so that we don't miss important things? And then reverse engineered that back to the scripture to make sure that we covered all those topics throughout the year. Did you enjoy putting this together? I did. You did? Yeah. It took me a long time, but it was worth it. Yeah. I'm really, I, I think I, I'm much more in favor of th- this and it's honoring to our preachers. We have so many different speakers as well to have them plenty of time in advance, but I'd much rather this than just have, oh, we'll just show up and do whatever, whatever fe- we feel on the day. Now we aren't beholden to this. So in terms of our, for those that are from our churches that are listening to this, we're not beholden to this. So there might be times where we specifically go, actually, we need to skip that message and do something different um, on any given Sunday, but it's a little bit like Jesus says, Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So this will serve us. It doesn't, we don't serve it. So if we need to f- flex things, we can, but um, I always find it easier to start with an intended structure rather than start with none whatsoever. As example of that, you said to me just before we started recording that on a needs basis, you're going to be doing a different podcast in yes. the, the Bible. Uh, what is this called? The Bible, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you're going to be recording a topic um, – Questions around Gaza and Israel. Yes, yes. I'm planning on sitting down to All Goes Well tomorrow and we'll have, hopefully that will be, if this goes to plan, this will be our first episode for the season and then we'll release that ahead of our conversations that you and I are going to record shortly on Mark. Um, I've just had a lot of people asking me about that and I did a podcast with um, Adam Bear and, and Jimmy Brennan way back in 2019 about Israel. Um, obviously with the current situation, a lot of people asking questions and I'm not presuming to provide any answers, but Phil Whedon is as up as anybody I know on this topic. Uh, he, he is, he does our Israel tours. He, um, he knows his topic when it comes to this stuff. And so we'll just sit down and have a conversation and just talk through the complexities of it a little bit and really more about how encourage us as Christians, how we can think appropriately about this issue, um, and be prepared to honestly evaluate and then make a decision as to how do we act like Christians how should we be acting like Christians? Because I'll let you on a little secret. A lot of Christians aren't acting like Christians on this topic. And um, I think we just need to uh, think about it well. So that's our plan for tomorrow, which will be released next week, I assume, as you listen to this. That's a good plan. Yeah. So do you think moving forward there there is space in this podcast to record topical Yeah, I think uh, so. If, if there's questions hot, hot and topics and toppings. And we, we were going to do that last year and we never really got that many. But if you're listening, okay. we, we'd love just to answer Q&As. I think we can do a few Q&R responses where – Throw us a throw us a curly question of, about something you've heard, and we'll turn it into a podcast and talk about it. Definitely, yeah. And you can reach out to us on our Instagram and Facebook yep. accounts as well. We're going to be a lot more active with that. Yes, Jeannie's going to be very active there. No, I, I, don't <laughs> say that. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. try. I'm not a technological person at all, but I'll give it a crack for the yeah. minute. And because these podcasts are actually, well, many of them are recorded even weeks ahead of when they're released. That's so that's why we're not discussing um, hot topics. Yeah, it's not like we have current news. We don't want to be out of date on stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right now, all we can talk about in the news is Taylor Swift. That's That's, correct. It's all Taylor Swift right now. Yeah. And I'm no Swifty, so I can't give you, can't give you much advice on Taylor, I'm afraid. Me neither, sadly. You you neither? Yeah. I I like her. I think she's amazing. Oh, I think she's brilliant as well, but don't really listen to her music too much. No. Except for Shake It Off. Well, I'll, I'll I play was, that any day. I, I, to be honest, I was, you know, my oldest Amy, she's 30, and she was a Swifty back, you know, 15 years ago when it, she was in her country rock chick mode. I liked that style of music. It, was, yeah. it just worked for me. <laughs> 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 but not so much anymore, even though I appreciate the lyrics and so on. So now yeah. I can't give you an episode on Taylor Swift. Well, that's a shame. Uh, that, that would be 
not wise. But so, other than that, we've got plenty to talk about. Okay. And we will have some, yeah, Q&As. We have, could we have a little podcast chat in our um, WhatsApp, in a WhatsApp group within our locations of people asking curly theological questions and sometimes people will throw, th- throw things in there. So we may be able to pull out some of those things and turn them into podcasts as yeah. well. Yeah. So if anybody has any suggestions for us as well, we're really open to that. Yeah. We want to make this podcast as best as we can for you, the listener, because yeah. that's what we're here for. We're that's not really right. here for each other, sadly. Rowan, I hate to say that, but, you know. <laughs> You're not even there. That's no. fine. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not here for myself either. I'm here no. that hopefully to help and encourage people yeah, and inspire absolutely. people to read the Bible. For sure, Jeannie. So two quick questions. What worked for you last year in this podcast, if uh, anything? Oh, yeah. Well, I think the overwhelming feedback from people uh, about how it helped them, people who were just listening to it every week, there's a few that just didn't miss an episode. It was lifeblood to them. So that was encouraging. Um, and it worked for me because it, I think for me, I loved sitting across the table from different people and hearing their take on things, hearing their insight into things and how much I learned, which I think is a lesson for all of us. The the Bible was always intended to be learned in community. It was always intended to be read in community, studied in community. Um, And I study the Bible a lot on my own. You and I've just been through a master's course, which apart from a week of conversation was largely on our own, writing our essays and so on. But there's something powerful about communicating around the scripture and learning from one another. That was a massive win for me. And what did, was there anything that didn't work? Anything you'd like to change? I think, I think this is a strange one. I think we were, we went too long. Uh, I think oh, our t- speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, Honestly, what I you mean do is, go on and yeah. on. <laughs> Sometimes no, I think, where are you going where am with I this? Way off track yeah. there. Yeah. Rabbit holes, rabbit holes. Rabbit holes and <laughs> conspiracy theories. No, so we, when I say that, I mean the content, Every conversation I have was enlightening. I think that we all there was plenty in there, but I'm also aware that people are people. Not everyone was listening to every session. I'd often hear people go, oh, "I'll listen to as much as I can get through in that week, and then skip on to the next one." So I think having the five chapters a week will shorten our episodes, which will help us to do other things as well and spend some more time promoting it so others can hear about it. Um, so yeah, when I say it went too long, I could I could talk for hours on the scripture. It's my heartbeat but also balancing that against people's time. So I think we've kind of made some adjustments in that area. What do, what do you think? Have you got thoughts? How long do we have? She's <laughs> always got thoughts about things. Uh, I agree. I, I learn a lot and I enjoyed listening to your perspective as well, your take on things. And my plan this year is to go a lot shorter. And so that's going to be difficult for me, I think. But I'll, I'll try. Difficult for you because of the amount of, preparatory study you put into an episode is that what you mean oh yeah i yeah. i spend a lot of time studying this which would have been obvious to our listeners from when Jeannie was on that i don't know you go deep <laughs> no and uh so i'm just conscious of people's time i want yeah. this to be be shorter so yeah. that's why i'm setting my timer okay well we're, 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 we're conversational <laughs> we're not we're not yeah. sitting in a class where we've got a 30 minute lecture period and we're just going to deliver information we want it to be conversational and wrestle with things a little bit so don't feel bad about that i think it's just the, the sheer amount of content means that, you know, we, if we can get, provide people with less content, they might actually take more of it in. Yes. Yeah. I'm very happy with the 50% off. 50% off deal? That's Five working. chapters, not 10. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet. Well, it means that, and we'll probably see that this year is I'll probably sit down with people and we might record two at a time uh, when we would have only recorded one. So that'll help me. And we may not, sometimes they might be back to back. Sometimes then we might record two at a time that might be spaced apart by a month or so, but from a practical perspective for us who are recording, that's easier too. Yeah. It's going to be a good year. A good year coming yeah. up. Send us your comments and feedbacks. 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 Like revelations. Like revelations. <laughs> send us your revelations. Oh, this is not that, going that well. That does work. You can send us your revelations because you'll have, yeah. hopefully you'll have plural revelations. <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks so much for listening. Looking forward to launching uh, yep. the next one. No worries. Talk to you in the next episode. All right. See ya.